Most people in America are familiar with how and when we go to the doctor. Most of us are pretty healthy all the time and then we have the occasional cold that just puts us under the weather. When we start to get a cold, we typically go to home remedies first because we don't really want to put pharmaceuticals in our body. So in my case, just as an example, I go immediately to ramen, a chicken ramen or some sort of Mrs. Grass's chicken noodle soup or perhaps even a Campbell's can of chicken noodle soup. And I make myself some chicken noodle soup and after that, I typically feel better. If I'm doing the ramen, of course, I'm going to give you my family recipe with my late Japanese wife, which is what we do is we make the ramen, enough for the three of us if we did, and then we would add some spinach, we would add some canned chicken, and then at the very last minute, we crack an egg or two and whip it in it. And that produces for you a really good home remedy when you get the sniffles, right? If that doesn't work, then we go to the next level. The next level might be some sort of a... I hate to say Dimetap, but because I don't remember the brand names, but some sort of orange syrup that's kind of like the kid's flavor of some sort of cough medicine. Because the truth is, people like us that are usually healthy and clean and don't have a lot of illness can be completely knocked out by some sort of Sudafed. So on top of that, there is something called Alka-Seltzer Plus. And for my family, in general, that stuff not only knocks us out, but totally kicks out any coming illness. And that is different than Alka-Seltzer. It doesn't taste good, and so the recommendation is warm, lukewarm water, and not as much water as you think you should, because, at least in my experience, it's sort of gagging, but it does work. It takes care of your nose, it takes care of your fever, it takes care of a lot of things. But again, I'm not a medical practitioner, I'm not giving you any medical advice, I'm just saying, hey, this works. What works for you? That's different. Then, obviously, if that doesn't take care of things, if your home remedies, if your over-the-counter over choices aren't taking care of things, then we choose to go to our personal doctor. Our personal doctor is the doctor that we choose, the doctor of choice, the guy we researched, the gal we chose because of her or his voice in the world. In other words, what are his principles? What are his concepts of using pharmaceuticals? Does he use more all-natural herbs and uh, biohackers or does he use more uh, chemicals you see that might be a basis for choosing a doctor at the same time does that doctor have any specialty in whatever the heck you're dealing with or any kind of philosophies that would preclude him from handling certain things in your family and that's how we do this when we're talking about medical fraud we're talking about people trying to practice medication or pra practice medicine on people that do not have a doctor's license in other words, a police officer has no right to know whether or not you got your shot, didn't get your shot, are on the pill or not on the pill, are pregnant or not. That's the bottom line of it. And yet we have hospitals, mega corporations, that are saying that those law enforcement officers can come in any time and pull any records they want. That is not lawful. We don't even do that with our biological family members, our family members or our bloodline members. We don't do that. It is immoral for you to take copies of someone's medical records. It is illegal for you to have copies of them when you're not the person who owns them. The individual owns their medical records. Only people that we choose to allow to access our records have rights. One of the, the problems we have right now with continuity of, of care marketing of that program is that hospitals that are now practicing in major communities are saying you must sign off of this in advance, that any one of us can look at your records. And the answer, frankly, is no, please. We don't want that. We don't need that. And it totally obliterates any concept we have of privacy of rights to our personal health care information.